What if you could hack computers or move objects with just the wave of your hand? You're about to meet a man who can do just that, part of a growing group merging the human body with machines. I implanted an RFID chip into my hand. Call me crazy, but the possibilities are endless. From paying for things with the wave of your hand to video cameras in place of your eyes. They call me iBorg. You just pop it in, essentially. iBorg. Welcome to the wonderful world of transhumans, people who modify their bodies using technology to enhance their abilities to superhuman levels. Hello. The transhumanist movement ultimately believes humans can eradicate ageing and death by merging with machines and augmenting our bodies and minds. A simple modification might be an RFID chip in your hand which can open a door to the more extreme where we have neurotransmitters which are implemented into our brain where we can move things literally with our thoughts. Worldwide there are reportedly more than 50,000 people with these implants which some say are the way of the future. I think a large majority of people will enhance their bodies simply because it'll make us more capable, like a smartphone, but inside our bodies. Real life transhuman Len No calls himself an ethical hacker. His implant count, 10 and counting. This one right here is a credit card. Len can now hack into your phone in 30 seconds and bypass security protocols and let himself into buildings. I have another one back here, which is for physical access. Now, Len is using his hacking skills for good helping us understand the dawn of a new digitally enhanced day. Oof, we are live from the lands of the cooler nation and real-life transhuman hacker himself, Len No, joins us. Len. Thank uh, you for having me. I've got a quick quick question to sure. just kick things off. Um, why? Well, yeah. that is the, <laughs> that, that's usually the big question. Uh, it actually started with the concept of why not? Okay. So, right. to be honest, this was more of a progression. You don't live a pretty normal vanilla life and then just wake up one morning and say, wow, uh, today's the day I'm going to start shoving microchips in my arms. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it was more of a progression. I started with tattoos, got into standard body modifications, piercings. Standard. Body standard. Body. I've got yeah. standard augmentations. I've got a tattoo. Does that mean I'm going to get chipped up? Well, that depends. You know, if you're fortunate enough to get it, you never know. Oh my. Oh. What Can you run us through your, your setup? Is that uh, the right? <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what, are, what, are what are the, what are the specs? <laughs> yeah, what are the specs? What implants yeah, do you I'm have? I'm one of the few people that actually comes with my own hardware list. So <laughs> this was, it would actually be oh. the largest one. Oh. Whoa. Um, is that a, that looks like a Jets cracker. Is that right? That's <laughs> it's jazz. What is, is it? This is an NFC and RFID implant. So this allows me to actually interface to the same technologies on your cell phones that you use to tap to pay with. Oh. Oh. Uh, I can also use it to get into physical restrictions like your badging system in this beautiful building. I could skim one of your cards, write it down to one of my implants, oh. and just walk up and open the door. What? Wow. Yeah. But when you say that, right, so if you skim the card, then how are you entering that Well, I, I need an additional tool, but most of the time okay. I can get away with right. just... When you say additional tool, you mean a computer? No, most no? of the time I mean my cell phone. Oh. I can actually program these on the fly. Really? Sorry, so what you're saying is you can walk into a secure building, like, say, this one, mm -hmm. and just find your way in... Yep. ...with your cell phone and your... your I would, actually, little... I wouldn't bring the cell phone with me. you just do that just by... I, I would skim the card. What? Like, hypothetically, you know, you have amazing staff here that are, are just people. lovely people. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I've watched them sit there and badge in. If I was able to skim one of those cards, I would leave this building, write it down to one of the implants, mm -hmm. leave all of my cell phones, all my electronics outside, and I would basically walk into your building. Okay. If I was caught... The fact that these are, are inside my body actually gives me protection under medical privacy laws to the point where the authorities can't even ask me about them. Oh, well, we need to change those laws. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay, oh, but hang on, hang on. Here's, okay. This, okay, right. I, uh, all right, okay. I get this. I get you saying you're using it for good. Uh, yes, sir. What I don't get is why any human should be allowed to have that capability? Well, the ability for self-experimentation, it goes all the way back to Isaac Newton. So a lot of the greatest medical benefits that we've actually have in the modern age were originally started by people experimenting on themselves. So self-experimentation has been around forever. What, I guess the question I would ask is why not? Because then you've got people who can walk around and just into break into yeah. suit, like the but compromise. The point on... is, not everyone uses them the way that I do. No, no, no. But it's the potential, right? Well, the potential. Uh, you own. You drive a car. Does that mean that you're the the uh, potential vehicular manslaughter? 
Uh, you know, person where you could, you're could you just waiting to run someone over with a car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that point. But, like, one of the reasons we make that calculation is that driving a car, when you add up all the benefit of that, is just... It's such an overwhelming benefit of society to have that mobility that we take the risk. The benefit of people being able to just get into buildings yeah. at will... Well, you you got to understand, it's not just I walk up and your badge information right. comes to me. I need to have the skills to be first be able to get that information. Right. I have to have the tools to be able to p copy it off of your card. And then I also have to have the intent to do something malicious with it. Right. Yeah. But there One are we know that there are people in the world who have malicious intent. Absolutely. And then what are the protections from them not having chips in them? So, so if I get the uh, the question correctly, how do you protect yourself? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to like the answer. Oh, oh. What is then don't oh, no. tell us. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to like the We're answer. Bad news. No, no, it's not. It's not bad news. It's just it means that you know a lot of the conveniences that we take for granted. You're going to have to oh, yes. actually take it. You know, some responsibility for your own data and your own electronics. Oh, but I do. Can you hack into my phone? Um, oh. I'm an ethical hacker at this point, so no, I, I, I don't... I'm inviting you to... Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. in, I, in order for me to do that, we'd have to get my lawyers involved. Really? Just to, yeah, just to make sure that, you Consent. know, everything's above board. But if you'd like, I'd be happy to demonstrate on my own phone. Yes, oh, yes, 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 please. So, yes. Let me get... Can I have a look here? Absolutely. So I'm going to start off by... Not all of my chips are used for negative purposes. For example, this right here yeah. is, and it may take me a couple of moments to get You've it right. Got to locate it. Yep, got to locate it right. No, uh, we got it on. Mm. Yep, okay. Uh, come on. Oh. Of come course, on. It, of course. You know yeah. when no. live TV. No. No. Come on. There it goes. Hey. Oh my God! Wow. You're in. So you're yep. in. So you're all familiar with like one-time passwords that you would get from yeah. you know Google or, yeah. or when you log in. This is where I get mine. So before it'll even give me that one-time code, oh, I have wow. to scan my arm in order to actually access the program. You can also, if you drive oh. a Tesla, you can actually put your Tesla car key on one of these implants and just get in your car so and drive. Car like, do you have to plug yourself in at night? No. Like, how do you charge yourself? <laughs> I wish. Oh, maybe really? I, yeah, okay. maybe I'd be a little bit more awake in the morning. Uh. Oh. Do you have any other plans? Big plans? Oh, yeah, I'm actually working on putting a full single board computer into my leg that would allow me... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... How yeah. would you type on it? Oh. Through the cell phone. But, hang on, why, but why, again, back to the first... But why? Well, if you go into some high security areas in governments and, and organizations, they oh. will actually tell you that you have to leave yeah, your electronics you in a locker you. before you go in. I would be able to then walk through restricted locations with technology that are actually actively pinging out for other network devices, potentially trying to auto-attack devices that it finds. You're oh. Batman. Yeah. Mm. Closer to Cyborg. <laughs> OK. okay. Well, so right. Both in the DC yeah. universe. I'll take it. I don't know whether I'm scared, <laughs> impressed, no, no, both. It's but you're wild. intriguing, you're yes. Intriguing. But if I may answer your question from before, oh. to protect yourself against this, most of the attacks against mobile devices can be solved by simply turning off that NFC. The oh. problem is, as a society, we push towards the use of contactless payments, trying to use sure. our cell phones. Yeah, yeah. But that is the same technology oh. that I can take advantage I of. See. So it's cash. Cash. Okay. Cash. 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 Lynn has yes. a book coming out called cash Human my Hacked skin. My Life and Lessons. As the world's first augmented ethical hacker, would you please, I think, thank yeah. Lynn No. <laughs> thank you guys very much.